How is it going everyone? Um, just want to make a video on how to download a map on flash and lights. Um, I know when it comes to modding not everybody likes doing so um, and that's including me as well. It's not something that I prefer doing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, one thing you are going to need before you get started is this Unity Assets Bundle Extractor. What that will do or what that will allow you to do is for you to mod the game without this game it is not possible to import any mods i have uh went ahead and deleted it so we can all do this together um, in case there's any questions um on how to do so feel free to leave those down in the comments below all right so we're going to go ahead and download this file um you can go ahead and download the 64 bit and should begin downloading here in two seconds there we go it is downloading so there it is so it is in a zipped file what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and extract all um, hit extract boom now it is out of its folder and it is now unzipped you want to go ahead and hit it go to assets bundle extractor right here and then what we're going to do is you're going to hit file open and now we are going to locate the game directory and by doing so is you're going to open your disk that your game is located in we're going to open program files 86 you're now going to go down to steam then scroll down to steam apps and then common and then flash and lights this right here is your main directory for the game so you're going to go ahead and open flash and lights data and now you're going to scroll down to level 11 and that'll go ahead and open your files now if you get asked something else um, after hitting um, after hitting uh, level 11 just go ahead and open that file that it tells you to which should be shared assets to so again if it does ask you um, to open another file after hitting level 11 go to shared assets to and then after clicking that it should open this um, so with that being said, these are the stuff that are located inside the game. Um, so we're not going to worry about this right now. Um, next thing you want to do is you, of course, want to download your map that you're going to be getting. This is the one that I will be installing today. Um, I actually met the creator, which is, yep, Elias, um, on Discord. He joined one of our servers while in game. So that was pretty cool. He was actually a pretty nice guy. I'm going to leave this uh, link down in the description below so you can download it for yourself as well. So we're going to go ahead and download this file. Click agree and download. And boom, should start downloading here soon. I'm going to go and wait on that to finish downloading. All right, as you can see, it is downloading now. Again, in a zip folder, we are going to have to unzip it. Um, so we're going to go and extract. Um, as you can see, I already have the files but it never does damage to replace the files destination so went ahead and did that no longer need this one so as you can see we now have the grid map as well as the mini map that is located at the bottom left hand screen um, of your flashing lights game and the way you could tell is obviously the grids are here this is the big map when you hit m and then this is the mini map that stays on the bottom left hand corner so we're going to go ahead and minimize and or close out of those. Now what you are going to do is we are going to go ahead and reopen what we were doing. Um, and usually all the, um, let's see, usually all the, uh, the instructions are located um, in the description depending on the mod. Um, so always make sure you take a look at that. As you can see, UI mini map is a small mini map in the corner of the screen, and then the regular mini map is the the big one when you click M. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and locate um, UI mini map 2048, and by doing so, you hit name, and then you could type it UI, um, and then you can scroll down. You just scroll down and find it. So as you can see. UI minimap 2048 and you do have to put it in the texture file not in this one um, so you want to click that you're going to go ahead and go to plugins go to edit hit OK 
and then load all right so once you got that to load we are now going to go to downloads that is where you downloaded your map mod as you can see right here this right here we opened remember UI minimap so UI right here is a small minimap in the corner of the screen so it's going to be this one right here and it even named it corresponding to the file hit right here UI minimap and hit open once you got that done you hit OK and hit OK again so that one's in um, now we are going to locate um, minimap without the UI at the beginning so go ahead and type that in hit name again M I N I minimap 2 so again it is a texture file you're gonna go ahead and go to plugins I'm gonna go to edit hit OK go to load and go to the regular minimap 2 um, what confused me is I did watch another tutorial on how to do so and he never mentioned the beginning UI and then right here there is no UI so that's why I'm making this video in case anybody had issues from another video so we're gonna go ahead and open that we're gonna hit OK that is now done now that is pretty much done with that being said there's only one more step you have to do hit OK would you like to save changes yes you are now going to save that file to your desktop and hit save so give it a second it should export that to your desktop we'll go ahead and log out of this in the meantime and as you can see it is right here what you want to go ahead and do now is you're going to go ahead and open your files again where your game is located so you go to your local disk go to program files 86 and you go to steam if i can find it yep steam then go to steam apps common and then flash and lights and then flash and lights data right here so we are back in the main directory all you have to do is grab this file which is your new map I'm going to go ahead and move it in and as you can see I already have it but again it never hurts to replace the file so we're going to replace that and that is it you should now have the map in your game so what you want to go ahead and do easily of course test that by opening your flashing lights we'll give it one second Alright, so if you take a look at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, um, you can see that the minimap is up and running. And when you open your regular map, this is also up and running. So, again, not difficult at all. Not even time consuming, really. Um, if you still have any questions or issues during the process of downloading these uh, mods, feel free to leave a comment below. I will be active. But I'm going to go ahead and leave the um, link to the um, map mod in the description below as well as the link to get the um, the file extractor um, so hopefully that was easy simple and um, yeah enjoy your your mapping game